South Texas, barbacoa is a year-round tradition and a must-have weekend breakfast alongside some corn tortillas, homemade salsa, menudo, pan dulce, and don't forget the cafecito. Here in the 956, you can buy it by the pound in every city and at every meat market and tortilleria. Even H-E-B sells it by the ton. Real barbacoa is made with cachete and or lengua. And when mixed together, it's called barbacoa especial. That means special barbacoa. You see, the cheek meat is fatty and the tongue is lean, and the two together make the perfect blend, and that's why it's so special. You can buy it just about anywhere in South Texas, but once in a while, we love to make it here at home, and we're gonna show you exactly how to cook it perfectly every single time. The two most popular ways to make it at home are in the crock pot or in the oven. Today, it's eight pounds, so we're using the oven. The most important pro tip is that you cook it low and slow, since these are tough cuts of meat. This way the fat fully renders and you get some delicious, super tender and juicy barbacoa at the end. The flavors of the meat are so good you only need a couple of simple ingredients. And in this recipe, we're gonna use eight pounds of cachete, that's cheek meat in English, one whole lengua, that's tongue meat, one garlic clove, one bay leaf, a light shake of OG, that's the salt, pepper, garlic in a perfect ratio, and of course, some super good homemade salsa. And we're gonna slow cook it in the oven for six to seven hours. Now let's get fired up and start cooking barbacoa. And let's get all these pieces out of here. It usually comes in a few or a couple of pieces. Dry off all these excessive liquid that we have here. This is what came in the package. It doesn't have a lot of excessive fat today. That's a good thing. I'm just gonna kinda go through here, and if there's any really big chunks of fat, I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna separate some of these pieces just to make it a little bit easier to manipulate them inside the crock pot or the oven, whichever you choose to do. See, this is a little excess fat. Now, fat is wonderful. It adds an amazing flavor. But the meat itself has a lot of internal fat too, so it's gonna release it. So we're using the APCOG rub. Just light, very light coat, because really the flavor of the meat is what's gonna shine. And while it's cooking, you don't want a lot of salt, pepper, and garlic there. You just want a little bit. You always want a salt to taste your taco. How much salt goes in there is up to you, not to me. So we always cook it with just a little bit of salt, pepper, and garlic. Now Terry and I used to own a little restaurant in San Juan, Texas. And we used to make tons of barbacoa for our patrons in a roaster. So you can also use a roaster, the big roasters. That works too. But of course, we were making a much larger batch than what we're doing here today. We would actually make three roasters worth of meat. So all we have to do now is put it into one of these pans. Now, these are the restaurant style type pans, but you can use whatever pan you like. Or like I said earlier, if you have a big Dutch oven or any kind of roasting pot, you can do it in the oven like that. And I'm gonna pour this little bit of beef broth in here. And I like to use a little bit of beef broth because I want it to be beefy. I wanna get some underneath the meat here. And that's it. We use one cup of beef broth. We're gonna drop the bay leaf in here and we're gonna drop the garlic in here. Now this is the whole tongue from a cow. We're gonna go ahead and put this into the pan as well. I'm gonna actually cut this into a couple of pieces to make it a little bit easier to trim. And I'm gonna get all the skin off here. You don't have to use it in your, in your cheek barbacoa, but we like it in our house, so that's the reason we use it, but you don't have to add it. It's not necessarily part of the whole barbacoa experience in these modern times anyway. And I am gonna cut it, like I said, in chunks, because it, it's really thick and it'll take longer to cook. It'll cook quicker if you break it up into small pieces like that. We have our tongue all nicely trimmed up. Quite frankly, I usually don't trim the tongue until after it's cooked. It's much easier to peel all that skin off after the tongue is cooked in the oven or the barbecue pit or wherever you choose to cook it, and you don't waste any meat, I mean zero. But mainly I wanted to just show you folks how it's just pure, amazing beef, but the tongue is very lean. You don't see any marbling there at all. It's all just pure meat. Let's throw the tongue in with the rest of the barbacoa and let's start cooking. Into the oven we go. All right, you see how it's getting some nice roasted color on there? I'm gonna flip these over. All right, got it all flipped over. Let's put it back in the oven. And then we're gonna put it back in there at 250 till it's super tender. The barbacoa is ready to eat. 
and I'm hungry, so let's get it on. This is really, really perfectly well done. The broth smells amazing. See how we have a lot of natural broth in here? And see how it's falling apart? That's what you want. That's what low and slow does with the barbacoa. Now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go through here and take out some really big fat pieces like this. We don't wanna eat that. It's already done its job and flavored the meat. Look at that, folks. It just falls apart. All right, we're gonna get some of this fat out of the way here, put the meat back in. This turned out fantastic, folks, just fantastic. All right, friends, I'm gonna take some of this barracoa, put it in a little bowl here, and uh, kind of mash it up a little bit. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of smash this up, get it all mixed up really good here. Now, you can use any tortilla you like. Terry's warming some up right now. I'm gonna use corn tortillas today, but use whichever tortilla you like. You know what I always say? Ain't no right way, ain't no wrong way to eat barbacoa. That's for dang sure. It's time to assemble my barbacoa taco. I'm gonna take this tortilla. I'm gonna tell you guys, these are not homemade tortillas. If you're fortunate enough to have somebody to make them for you, they are the best. These are store-bought. They're still really good. Barbacoa is always better in a taco. So let's make us a little taquito. Get this puppy going here. And I do always like to use a little salt, pepper, and garlic. Remember, we only used a little bit for the cooking process, it always needs a little bit more salt once you got it done. I'm gonna put a little bit of cilantro on there, a couple of pieces of tomato. Now these are all optional condiments. You don't have to do it like that. I don't use onions, but my wife does, so we have onions available for Terry here in just a moment. Don't forget a little squeeze of lime. For me, the salsa is not an option. It is mandatory. Gotta have that salsa right there. Whoo, yeah, I'm ready to take a big old bite. What do you say, folks? Oof. Oh, baby, that is so good. That make you wanna dance? Yeah, buddy. All right, folks, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to cook barbacoa in a hole in the ground. You don't have to cook barbacoa in a drum smoker. It's perfectly amazing, even in the oven or a crock pot. Folks, I guarantee if you try it, you're gonna love it. Mm -mm 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 -mm, friends. Once again, I promise you, if you cook it in the oven the way I showed you, roast it a little bit first, cover it, put it at 225 or 250, it is fantastic, folks. Try it. I promise you're going to love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. It really helps our channel out. Remember to share it with your family and your friends. And if you guys are interested in the APC OG rub, which is amazing on everything, that's at pitmaster.us, as well as the WOW. The WOW kicks everything up to another level. And if you want to up your barbecue game, go to pitmasterclass.us. Folks, thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoy some amazing barbacoa. Keep the smoke light, make it work. Boom! Wow! Mama! Come here. I'm gonna ask my mom what she thinks about this barbacoa. I can smell it all the way to my bedroom. Is it good? Better than anything I've eaten in a long time. Mama approved. Mm -hmm. Buddy wants a taco. You want a taco, buddy? What? What? You want a taco? I'll give you a little piece of meat. How about that? No drippy, because Mama will get mad. Where do you go? What do you think? It's Buddy approved, too. <laughs>